I'll show you how I would make your dashboard for your jet ski. Start by deleting a cube. Delete that. Um, going to change my view to right orthographic view. I'm going to turn on my screencasting keys so you can tell what I'm doing. You don't need these, but down the bottom here you'll see which keys I'm pushing. So if I push A, it'll show you I'm pushing the letter A. I'm going to put my cursor in the middle, snap cursor to center. I'm going to start by inserting um, from um, object mode, inserting a empty. This is going to hold the image. So I'm going to tick this align to view. So this little rectangle which holds the image will be tilted towards the camera. Over on the right hand side, there's an upside down Y. I'll click that and I'll open the image. I'm going to navigate to it. So I've already got the link there. Open the image and choose dashboard, which is this one here. Open that image. I'm going to scale it larger and move it into the center. I'm going to insert some circles. So shift A, make sure all this is yellow. Now mesh and insert a circle and tick align to view. I'm going to scale that and move it over towards where I want it to be. You'll notice this yellow dot is the center of the object. Um, that's really important shortly, so I'm just going to bring it back to the center and put the dot in the middle. Tab to edit mode, G, Y, bring it across to the right hand side and the dot will stay put. The important part of that dot is the center of the object, it's where it's going to reflect from. So I'm going to put in a mirror modifier. So can't see much yet, but as soon as I E to extrude, S to scale, and make that a bit smaller, it's now got some geometry that's being reflected over here. I'm going to highlight all, push A, and I'm going to just change a couple of things. And the uh, shading UVs on the left, faces are smooth, and I'm also going to flip direction so that it's pale, because that means the paintable side is facing me. I'm going to scale that a bit bigger. And I'm now going to um, highlight the inside edge. So I'm going to go to Edge Select, hold down Alt and click, and that's going to get that inside edge. I'm going to go E to extrude, S to scale, and E, S, and I can then, once that's in there, I can push F to fill, and I've got a nice good circle there. I'm going to put a couple of loop cuts in here, Control R, scroll up on my mouse wheel, click that, and I'm going to pull that G, X, pull that forward, so put a bit of a bulge in there. All of that's in the same plane as the picture, so it's looking very flickery, so I'm going to just pull it forward slightly so they don't interact with each other. Going back to the front view. I'm going to get the edges around here, highlight those, something along the lines of that, and I'm going to Extrude and scale, make that a bit bigger. It's going in a strange angle. Undo. Yeah. Might highlight the whole thing, try that. Extrude and scale, and then just delete the outside part that's not scaling in the right direction. Then from here, extrude, rotate, scale, extrude, rotate, scale. So my highlighting technique here is push the letter C and I get a circle and then I can brush across. And then I'm going to E to extrude, bring it all the way to the center, and you'll notice they aren't interacting. So if I tick clipping over here, and then they will start to interact, and they will stick. I can't pull them apart now. 
and then I'm going to put a loop cut in here and bring it up and that's going to give me um, a nice little curve on the dashboard. Next idea that I want to do is probably take this face here, E to extrude, bring it all the way to the middle and make some slight adjustments. Control R loop cut, scroll up maybe twice and then grab and bring that down. Next idea that I want to do is bring these at not that one, vertex select. Gonna bring all of these, not the bottom, I'll join those up shortly. E to extrude, loop cuts two of them, highlight that, and I'm gonna fill. F F F. Now I'm gonna make some adjustments so that they look like they line up a little bit more. Maybe a loop cut through there. Gonna line these up to your sketch. Just make a little adjustment here. Delete that edge. Fill it in. I want to keep each thing square or at least four sided. Try to keep things sort of in a straight line. Face mode, that one. I to inset and B for border so that the center part um, sticks together. And I'll do the same here. I, B, no, that doesn't work. Undo. So I need an extra layer up here. take both of these faces and push them in the same amount E G X they're gonna sink in a little bit E to extrude X axis so they're gonna sink in and they will sit nicely for items in the dashboard okay so the next thing I want to do is bring this further out so I might start with Of these I need to extrude and then from here I need to extrude out to that fill. Now I've got a bit of a split here, so um. Delete that edge. And I might put in a loop cut around here, two of them. Gonna merge these. Alt M merge at center. Alt M merge at center, or on a Mac it's um, option M. not ideal to have a triangle um, and 
resolve that edge. And This should be nice and quick. F, 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 F. So everything's got four sides. Um, okay, what to do here? Kind of looks good, quite a square looking edge but we'll go with that anyhow let's cut that outside shift alt clicking um, p to extrude x-axis hide the empty so i can sort of see that's the shape that i've got i'm going to do a bit of scaling sy y-axis g y taper that in be careful not to pull too many vertices in close. I'm just keeping an eye on this length here. And I'll taper them down. G, Z, pull them down. S, Z, make them a bit smaller. Highlight the whole thing in object mode. Rotate it. That's possibly what I'm after. Probably a little too much. Some loop cuts. And then highlight each of these edges. If I pull that down with proportional editing on, push the letter O for proportional editing, G, and then drag that circle down. It's not giving me the proportional drop off that I want, so I'm going to change that to a get. Um, that's what I want, so it's going to drop off with a curve downwards. Um, so that's given me a nice little tapered curve down there. This part I'm going to try to fill in. Going to drop those ones and those ones. Extrude across. Could do with a loop cut that way. And because it's quite hidden. I will merge those two. Pull that across to here. Oops. G, pull it across. And highlight those. And highlight. So I do have a triangle, but it's pretty hidden. No one's ever going to see it. So I've got a little gap there. And Oops, it is. So I've paused it and I've had a bit of a think. I'm going to get rid of this triangle. I'm going to put a loop cut through here. And I'm going to dissolve that. Dissolve edge. No, I'm not. I'm going to put a knife cut from here to here first. Then I'm going to dissolve that edge loop. Subdivide that, W subdivide, pull that out to here. One, two, three, four, five, fill that. And that's all filled. So I've got squares through everywhere. And the good thing about squares is I can edge loop highlight 
and I should get a nice flow and these can be modified a little bit more easily. It's really good to get flow and squares let you do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is put in subdivision surface, so add modifier subdivision surface and this is going to give me some added roundness to my features. It does do some changes down here which may or may not be what you desire so I'm going to put in some extra loop cuts to sharpen it up and if you need to you can push and pull things around to adjust it the way that you want it. So if I bring back the empty, there's looking through to see where your buttons and so on will go. And take that empty. Let's have a look at the other pictures that you drew. It sort of tapers down quite a lot. Right, so that needs to aim down, that's really what we're after. That image there. Something like that. That's more like the angle I think you had for that picture there. Aiming down. Fill in this back end. I'm not exactly sure what I want that to look like. Um, just going to grab that and pull that down just a little bit so it clears the other side and deselect that part. I'm going to count these sections one, two, no, I won't. Gonna extrude and pull this way at E. No, I won't do that either. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, pull that down. So it's very close. Merge those, merge at last. And hmm. don't need any of that. Dissolve vertices. Nope. Dissolve vertices. Dissolve edge. That's better, nice and straight. Now I need two loop cuts that way. Alt M. Make sure one, two, at last. At last. So I've got four there, one, 
count the edges one, two, three, four. Yep, so it's highlighting nicely. And if necessary to add some rounding, that may get pulled out. There's your dashboard on a nice tapered angle down, just like your picture. So if I bring that picture in, side view. Shift A, object mode, shift A, empty image, align to view. Bring it in, side view, scale it up, looks pretty similar, just need to get your handlebars coming out of the bottom, down around here. Pictures don't really line up that well, but that's how I would model that. It's gonna be a fair amount of texturing and photoshopping to get your rev counter and speedo on there. Maybe some extra buttons that are separate but that's how I would model that part. Each piece you'd model separately. Um, perhaps if you didn't want some deep creases, you might sculpt that out. So perhaps you'd come into sculpt mode, maybe f smooth this area out here. F makes it bigger. Uh, maybe not that one, maybe I would use flatten. applying flatten and it's going to adjust the strength of this crease so it starts off with a nice crease and tapers down maybe now go to the smooth tool and smooth that out Some people like to change to matte cap so you can see the surface a little bit better. And sometimes you change the strength down so you don't do more than you want to. Getting rid of some of those creases. That one might need to fill, inflate. But I hope this helps. Um, adding texture on the outside is a different story.